Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 takes us to the 2nd of January, and we'll be able to set up beyond that. We have set GFS and ECM ensembles, and they are running to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video. But next point gets us into the second half of the January. And I'll get to my back for you in a moment. Just say that first a video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Please like, share, and subscribe on both of today's videos. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that for gas weather vids. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, okay, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, my good friend Michael, Michael Parker, aka the Screaming Dead. Blimey. <laughs> Hello to you, Michael. Thank you so much for your donation to uh, gas weather And Merry Crimbo. Merry Christmas, Michael. And a Happy New Year as well. That donation, absolutely incredible and amazing. Thank you, thank you so, so much for the support, my friend. If you would like to give a donation to Gaz Webbins and get a Christmas uh, hello, a Christmas shout out, then all you need to come to the Gaz Webbins PayPal page, sign into your PayPal account, link in the description down there, first thing you see, sign into your PayPal account, send whatever you like to Gaz Webbins and we will give you a shout out in the bids, that's how you do that. And thank you so much everyone for doing that for us, it's absolutely amazing, it's helping to pay for the channel and helping for helping to pay for me to buy me Brussels sprouts, basically, for Christmas dinner. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. It's absolutely amazing and incredible. Happy Christmas. Uh, happy Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Bit of shaky. Right, okay, let's crack on with your 10 to 40 there. So, sorry, everyone. We're going to start off with the latest Wimpro map from EarthNoSchool.net, showing high pressure is now in control over Scandinavia, and it's bring the wind around to the east. Still a lot of cloud being dragged in. I'm most easy winds, but eventually will start to break up some of that cloud. I think you should start to see some sunshine as you go into Christmas itself. Um, but of course, temperatures will be dropping. Central temperature is still very mild, sitting at 7.7, .7, over 3 degrees above 61 to 99 average, and that's provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 22nd of December. Means for GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks, we're at Birmingham today, the red line is the first year. Upper air temperature average will brum. We're starting off around to a bit above average with the upper air temperatures right now. We are going to see them briefly coming down uh, around Christmas, then lifting back up again between Christmas and the New Year. However, that's under high pressure, so it will be cold, probably mostly cold anyway, on the surface. And then dropping away through the first week, 10 days or so of January. Maybe with GFS Ensemble shifting more towards a colder outlook, actually, uh, for the New Year there. Precipitation-wise, well, lots of dry weather to come up to the new year, going to be high and dry. After that, though, we do see some precipitation spikes coming through. How snow row uh, looking for Brum. So we do see some uh, snow, snowfall spikes there. From about New Year's Eve on into the first week of January. Not all that many of them, but there is, of course, one big outlier that you can see there. Um, but overall, yes, more snow, snowfall spikes, you know, as uh, we go through the first week of January. Temperature anomalies. Oh, what's happening there? Temperature anomalies. Yep, that happened. Temperature anomalies um, for the uh, next five days to the uh, 28th of December. Generally a bit below average for most of us. 10 to 14 day looking colder than average in all areas. And precipitation anomalies next seven days to 30th of December. Uh, driving average. So, well, despite all the chopping and changing and twists and turns, the train remains as it has been for well over a week, possibly 10 days, which is a colder and drier one heading into the end of the year. Right, let's start going for chart day today. We're going to have a look at the midnight and 6Z runs. I might do a little video with the 12Z later. It could be a, a live shift. I am very tired after uh, doing the early shift uh, again at what the gap today. So, uh, I'm going to have a sleep and then see how I feel uh, a little bit later on. If we do go live, it'll be probably about half seven something like that otherwise it might be 12 round roundup video but uh, watch your space anyways this video will be focusing on the midnight and six seven runs starting off with midnight uh midnight uk met no high pressure again dominates the weather bringing a lot of dry uh, weather with it 
as we're going through Boxing Day, high pressure remaining in control there through the first, uh, through the closing days, I should say, of uh, December. High and dry all the way up to the 30th. And probably some significant overnight frost as well. Icon, that's uh, out for 12, so we don't want to look at that yet. So, uh, the midnight icon run uh, again showing high pressure dominating the weather, generally between Scotland and Iceland. Lots of dry and fine conditions, probably quite uh, cold and about air of high pressure. Although, by the new year, we could be starting to bring in something a bit less cold around the top for the Atlantic. The emphasis is on dry weather. No KMA update today. So uh, let's have a look at the GFS, starting with the midnight run. Again, high pressure is in control and in the ascendancy through the uh, closing days of December. Frost and fog uh, with that. Bit of a retrogression, bit of retrogression there. Uh, end of December with high pressure going up towards Iceland and Greenland. So a bit of a northerly coming down as we're approaching uh, the new yeah, there. Do, do, do. Um, no, New Year's Day, quite cold. Could be a few wintry showers in the south. But it's high toppling in with some slightly less cold weather around the 2nd of January. And then the high pressure back on the move again as we're moving into the uh, further through the first week of January. And that looks really quite cold with winds in from the north and from the north. So cold with snow showers likely in southern and eastern regions. We end up looking pretty cold and wintry there 8th of January uh, with the GFS midnight run. Uh, what about the uh, 6th then? Let's have a look at that one. It's the GFS and it's ensemble shifting back to a colder direction, I wonder. Um, so, again, high pressure dominates the weather between Christmas and the New Year. Frost and fog, particularly for central and northern regions. High pressure inching out to our west. A bit of a cold northerly there as we're approaching the New Year. Could bring a few wintry showers into the north and into the east as well. Slightly milder by the time we get through to about 2nd of January. And then, oh, we've got a chuff dropping through the North Sea. Here. So further on from the first week of January, but northerly uh, turns into a northeasterly. That looks really quite cold and wintry. Could bring snow showers into the north and east in particular. Back into something a little bit less cold again when we get through to the 8th of January and the wind swinging back into the west. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about guys when get subscribed to. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. We only put around three subscribers to get ourselves to 20.8k. We're so close to 20.8k now. It could get us up. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much everyone. GM, again, with high pressure uh, in control through uh, the post Christmas period between Christmas and New Year. Frost and fog, very likely, with that, the gruesome twosome. And then reintroducing uh, milder winds from the southwest by day 10. But GM is turning into a bit of a Grinch model at the moment, which is quite unusual because the GM is normally one of the more excitable models. But just lately, the G GM has been a proper Grinch model, hasn't it? Uh, we've never really gone for anything all that cold. And maybe you share around it all off again. High pressure in control, dominating the weather as we go through the uh, post Christmas period between Christmas and the New Year as well. High pressure rules the roost uh, up to. New Year. Will the high go anywhere? Interesting. Starting to pull out to our west. It's the opening days of January, allowing a northerly or a northeasterly. It looks like it's turning colder and wintry through uh, later on through the first week of January. That's how we end up. Quite a blocking feature between Iceland and uh, Norway and Sweden. Low pressure sinking away to the south. The east end shifting back, swinging back into a colder direction uh, today. So, very interesting. I think we'll definitely do something with the trails there. Whether that's a video or a, or, a, or, a, or a quick live, I don't know. But I think we've got to, got to, given the models look like they're shifting back in the colder direction again today, I think we've got to uh, do something with the 12Z later. So watch this space. Precipitation-wise, uh, this will be a precipitation-type forecast looking from uh, the ECM Midnight Run. Oh, based on that East End Midnight Run. So, again, lots and lots of dry weather to come over the next few days. Many of us will have no measurable rain, actually, in the next 10 days. Big difference what we've had through the winter so far and an end to the deluge. These are the options on the table within the East End on Sunday, day, four day 10 from the Icelandic Metals. It gets us to the 2nd of January, 2017. Members of the East End on Sunday, with high pressure just out to our west. Probably bringing some slightly less cold air from off the Atlantic 12 with high pressure 
pressure away to the west of the northwest. Low pressure to our uh, east. That brings the wind in. Potentially quite a cold north or northeast direction. We've got another 12 with high pressure just to our west. Again, could be a bit modified with that northwesterly. And then we've got 10 with high pressure just to the west. So around that, again, likely to bring the wind in from a less cold northerly direction. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. And it will get us to the 7th of January. 17 members of the ECM on some high pressure just to the west, bringing in a westerly flow. We've got 11 with high pressure to the northwest, low pressure southeast. So that brings in cold east northeast winds, that includes patrol and the operational run. We've got 10 with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north. That's reintroducing milder westerlies. We've got seven with a trough of low through the west of Europe, probably quite chilly with that on the cold type of jet stream. And we've got six with low pressure to the northeast, high pressure to the west. So that brings the wind in from more of a westerly or northwesterly direction. A range of options there about day 10 and day 14 it's all to play for and CFS so meets you finally beats a 500 millibar high tolerance breaking down into week pairs the first week pin taking us from no what are you doing Gab? the first week pin will be taking us from the uh, 24 Third through to the 29th of December, high pressure bringing lots of dry weather and becoming cooler through the Christmas week, week two. And you're seeing a nice sneak peek of it. It's the 30th of December to the 5th of January, high pressure just out to our west. And so around that again, probably bringing something a bit less cold from the North Atlantic. Week three looks interesting. Very, very interesting is the 6th to 12th of January. Blocking air of high pressure up to the north. Trough of low through central west Europe. And winds in for the northeast direction. That looks cold and wintry, doesn't it? And then uh, week four rounds it all off. It's the 13th to the 19th of January. High pressure around Iceland. And again, around that, winds come in from an east or a northeasterly uh, direction. So that could still be keeping things quite cold. We shall see. Time will tell. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, like, share, subscribe, make sure you're able to do that. Drop a comment, let us know. When we got this and all our videos and content, don't forget to tell friends about guys. When we get them to subscribe to you, thank you so much, uh, for dear Matt, and if you could consider making a donation for uh, Gals Web is to our PayPal page, there it is, links in the description, then that would be absolutely amazing. Thanks so much, everyone, for dear Matt, we'll give you a Christmas shout out. So, uh, well, can do something with trials then, I think definitely. Uh, so, whether that's a video uh, or whether that's a, a live about half seven, we'll wait and see. I wait. It'll appear about half seven. Well, I'd be live then. Or it'll be a video that pops up around half seven. So uh, watch this space and we shall see what the trail has to say. In the meantime, I'm off to have a bit of a sleep because I'm being very tired. And uh, I'll see you all a little bit later on. For this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.